Hey guys, so in this tutorial, let's check out how to take user input from the command prompt in Node.js. So I have created a video tutorial on JavaScript interview question on dominant array. So I'm going to make use of the same code. So here you can see in the main function, I am asking the user input by making use of prompt, enter a number for type case, uh, test cases. And you can see I'm asking two or three times the user input from the command prompt. So now if I run this code, so node dominant array, so file name is dominant array. So now if I run this, you can see it is showing me a warning that is prompt is not defined. Okay. So now if I run the same code on my online browser that I make use of. So this is the online browser I make use sometime. So now if I copy paste the same code over here, so you can see I can take user input from here. Okay. So two sub test cases, size of an array is three. I will just enter. Okay, and then I just need to enter some data. Okay, so you can see, so the same thing. So if I run the same code, you can see that I'm getting an error. That's because uh, this browser is making use of uh, Node.js at the backend to run my JavaScript code. And it has been installed with a library called as prompt sync. Okay, so we need to make use of that. So here just, uh, you just need to install it. So npm install prompt sync okay so this is the package or the model that you need to install so it got installed so you can just make use of it over here by making use of const prompt equal to required and here prompt function okay so by doing just by doing this and just by making use of this a variable name in the program itself we can just take the user input so let's check by saving this file so now if I run this file, you can see I can accept data from the user. Okay, so it will work same thing as it was working on the online tool. Okay, so second test case, first test case was cleared. Second test case, so I will just enter size of an array 3. And I will just enter 1, 2, 3. That is the element in an array. So you can see I'm getting the output over here. Okay, so that's all for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. Protocol as Thank you.